So here's the wreck of the Riptide. So far, so good. What are we doing with Church Lady anyways? Are we doing, um... Are we gonna do uh, Institute, maybe? Because we're gonna do Railroad many times with the Archer team. Trojan or Deadly Towers? What about fucking Astanax? Or what was the one that was like the weird fucking chess game? Was it Archon? Archon was fucked up. Deadly Towers is a broken ass game. I rented it from fucking Sounds Easy Pizza maybe three times and never did I ever figure out how to play it. Did they have the flyers in there? Oh, shots fired against hockey teams that I don't know nothing about. I will accept that it was a very harsh and brutal uh, attack on a team called the Flyers. Let's see. I think we've unlocked the back door here so we could just go right in. <laughs> Immortal was fucked up. Deadly Towers was. Here's a secret entrance you can't get out of. Yeah, but if you think about it, all of those games were fucking, like, broken. Even, like, Gotland didn't make any fucking sense. None of the hints that it gave you were helpful or interesting or compelling in any way. I had no idea how to beat fucking Gotland. I still don't. Oh, hold on a second. I need to get those bottles out. There's a milk bottle and some Nuka-Cola bottles. And I think that's all I got. Ooh, there's also six purified water just sitting in here. That should do the job for me. Oh. How did I drop off all that junk and now I'm over encumbered by grabbing that water? That doesn't make any sense. Fallout 1 River City Ransom for your bare ass sauna enjoyment. Damn, I like River City Ransom. River City Ransom's not in the NES Classic, is it? Or is it? I'm trying to think if there was another Technos Japan game in there. If Super Spike V-Ball or whatever, Super Dodgeball isn't in there, then I suppose there's no chance of it being River City Ransom in there. Of course they would put a fucking piece of shit game like Bubble Bobble in there. And I don't care what anybody says, that game is weak. Deeply lame. Lame sauce. Yeah, I have like just enough weight to be over encumbered. Yeah, I, I actually do own a copy of River City Ransom for NES, but I don't know how I'll hook it up to the stream. I'll probably just have to demonstrate that I own a copy of it and then emulate it. Looking for something? What I'm looking for is my fucking ass in your face. What a match. There. You fucking jerk bastard. Alright, let's give him one of these old numbers. Okay. Kyle's pissing on the bobble. It can't be worse than 3D World Runner. A 3D World Runner was a 3D game. It didn't really work or make any fucking sense, but it was fucking mind-blowing the first time I saw it. I was like, dude, this is the future. Before you know it, we're all going to be in these weird worlds. And I was like, there's never going to be a time where we want to have sex with like, like slick, liquidy fucking silhouettes of people. But it turned out that there was a time that that happened, and now people just get in latex bodysuits to look like the lawnmower man. Alright, dudes. I'm gonna give you all a little break. I also need to take a break. Seriously, my fucking neck is screwed up as fuck. I have no idea how I'm not sitting properly to fix it, but... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the, the like, BRB screen for about five minutes and try to fix my fucking fucked to completely to death neck so I will be right back and we'll continue from there okay
Oh yeah, I forgot I changed my fucking... I changed my uh, thing there. It was plus, but I guess I end up using plus occasionally. What? What the fuck you want, man? You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy, and you put fucking little tiny loops of fabric in all my clothes so that they all fucking fall apart. Uh... Don't. No. Stop. Now, see, now you can't get my finger out of your mouth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I'm in charge of your ass. I can pet you whenever I want. Okay? High five. Here, have some of these. Kikle Kubel and Skitchen. I remember Skitchen. And you want to know what was a piece of shit Genesis game in my book? Road Rash. I don't care if you liked it because you could hit people with a bike chain. I thought it was crap task tacular. There was an weird fucking Super Nintendo game about like Animal Olympics or something like that. That was a good time. Um, but yeah, this this chair has like a a little thing that you can strap to the fucking back of it, and I basically always had it there. I'm wondering if it will make a difference if I don't have it there, if I just like am able to fucking lean my head all the way back. And just like relax, I guess, in this way. Road, Road Rash came free with something. Alright, now he, oh, I guess here's the real question. Which game was better? Cool Spot, the 7 Eleven game, or yeah, 7 Up game, or Yo Noid, the Domino's Pizza game, or Sneak King, the Burger King game for Xbox? We have so goddamn many quests. We kept it so clean at the beginning. Do you remember that? We would get a quest, we'd do it, and we'd, we'd just be done. Now we're packing fucking 700 quests around. For as far as I can tell, no reason whatsoever. Have the Corsair chip analyzed. Fucking with strap-ons. Strap-on cushions. Yeah, I just need to like hold my neck in a position that ever so gently hurts so that I move it around. <coughs> Somewhat. Holy shit. <coughs> For two seconds there, my esophagus didn't know anything that it wanted. I was very confused. I was like, so are we doing this or uh, what are we doing here? A box of Cheerios. <laughs> Road Rash came free with something. Maybe Road Rash. Yeah, I was going to say maybe Road Rash had something free that came with it. Mick Kids or the Chester Cheetah game? The Chester Cheetah game had like weird, like slippery physics. That's one thing that I cannot stand about like mid, mid era platformers where it was all like it, the whole game felt like you were playing with like ice, everything. You'd run and then you'd stop running and he would do like a weird kind of like slow down gesture as he was moving around. <clears throat> Braintree religious NES games was that what that company was called was Braintree their carts were like light blue right I remember I remember 3D Noah's Ark I think then that was for Super Nintendo right and then they had one that was called Sunday Fun Day um, that was for NES and it was fucking insane. 
It was based on a game that was pretty similar. Like, it was like they bought the, the rights to this game, or they stole the program or whatever, and they released it in, in, in America. And in the original game, you were still a tough guy with, like, uh, gl like glasses or whatever. And you ride, rode a skateboard, and you were trying to rescue your girlfriend from, like, some punks. And every time you beat a level, it would show her saying, Please come get me. And she was like, slow, her clothes were like slowly melting off. Yeah, Wisdom Tree, that's what it's called. Um, and then later on, there was a um, copy of it that was called Sunday Fun Day. And, but instead of the girlfriend with her clothes melting off, it was like, the Sunday school teacher being like, you've got to get to Sunday school, hurry up and get there. And the whole point of the game was like, to risk life and limb in order to get to Sunday school. It's like, kid, just stay home and read the Bible. Like, why do you gotta, why do you gotta put yourself in this much danger? Makes no sense. Braintree is a city in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's good to know. Oh. What's that? Oh shit, if I fall down, there's gonna be sewer mutants waiting for me. There's like a bed down there, and like, death also down there. Yeah, that, that wisdom tree shit was fucking nuts. Look, it's good neighbor. This is where we're supposed to be going? Well, that's nice. That's very relaxing. I like Good Neighbor. It's a great time. Uh, apparently Mini Tribal followed us and I didn't say anything. So Mini Tribal, thank you for that follow. I don't know if that was while I was out my break or just while I was hypnotized by my own pain. Uh, I can get a pretty good turn on this side, but on this side... Not so much. Right around there is where it starts to feel like I'm getting a nail in the spine. What, I look like a bartender? Take you trouble someplace else. What, like the bar that you're tending? Are you tending to this bar here, sir? He's like, what are you, a wise guy, a smart ass? You're a dick. I knew it. You're a dick. How many dicks you got, dick? Just one. Sometimes I stay up all night counting them. One. Now that can't be right. Recount. One. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? We banged. I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Corsor chip. A Corsor chip? You bought a Corsor? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths. But never a Corsa. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well... The, the take no shit know, build, whenever anyone says something snarky, you just pop them? Security. That sounds like a good start to the rational basis build. Thanks, Doctor. I can't contact, but I do have... All right. Good luck. I'm sorry it was everything was so cryptic and shit. That face, which one? My my character's face? You should see her without her fucking helmet on. It's supposed to be the church lady from uh from uh Saturday Night Live. Only we put a helmet on her and now we're running around the Commonwealth trying to kill everybody. Yeah, the neck pain started last night, and it did not go away over the night, so. The dick counting sounds like a Rick and Morty interdimensional TV show. I've always liked the count your dick thing. So there's a guy, and I don't remember if he's really, really like this, or if it was just an internet thing, but there was a guy who had, like, some, a series of, like, sort of viral videos and he was supposedly like a guy who who had Tourette's syndrome. 
and uh, <laughs> one of the greatest moments in those videos. Oh Jesus! Let's just see if I can find it. Too good not to have. All right, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can find at least the one that I really like. I guess so. Oh no, I don't think that the I don't think that this guy is legit a Tourette's guy. God, there's 15 fucking minutes of this shit. There's at least one that I really, really like where he is like screaming into the phone and he screams, he screams so fucking loud that, uh, <laughs> that the calendar behind him drops a page. Like it fucking goes to the month before or whatever. It's so fucking funny. And then he, and then after he screams, fuck, and the calendar fucking drops a page off the wall. He's screaming so loud that the calendar is dropping fucking pages. He yells into the phone, go count your dick. And I was like, yeah, go count your dick. That's what I want to see. I wish I could find, I mean, he has videos, but apparently he has so many videos that there's no way that it was like a clandestine fucking recording of this guy freaking out. It's somebody who's faking it, which makes me really sad. I should have just kept it all to myself and continued living in fucking an illusion. But now I know better. Count your dick, indeed. You know we've been, we've been waiting on the secret of Cabot House for a while, but I decided not to do it or the library mission because I'm waiting for the uh, charisma to be ten. I've decided I don't want you to continue to use this. You're a goddamn terror with this thing. And as much as I like that you can shoot fucking multiple laser beams at once, I would rather you not waste all your bullets. Ah, uh, no, see, that's something we need. Meat. We're starving. <sighs> Fuck. Azzy, give me a massage. Give me a massage. I'll give you a massage first, then you give me a massage, okay? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. There. Alright, now you do me. Do me, do me, do me. I think she's bummed because I took the cushion off the chair and she can't use it to... She can't use it to climb up on the chair anymore. I like how it's always a legendary ghoul stalker that comes out of this thing. And this thing was the same thing that we got off of it last time. Do you remember that? Another quick draw lever action rifle that I'll never have bullets for because I'm never, ever, ever going to go all the fucking way over there. Hey. See if you can carry that for me, buddy. I mean, I probably should have uh, sold that stuff when we were over in Good Neighbor. Dude, 
Scoot a little bit forward. Okay, there you go. Now you can lay down. You cannot plant your fucking ass directly on the fucking mouse. I know that that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Aw, you found a fucking prize, and you're hitting my escape key. I'm so glad for you. She's playing with the cap of the five-hour energy I just drank. One of her favorite things in the entire world to do is play with a bottle cap. Maybe because she knows how valuable they are. But it's just like a little bit too big for her to do anything with, like as far as like swallowing it or anything harmful. And it also um, apparently makes a cute little sound as it rattles across the linoleum. Heads up. I'm all all right, give me all the shit you don't need no more. That ought to do the job. Oh. Walk. Walking. Walking harder. Hello. I've got a weapon here for every situation. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's get you. right. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Okay, so here's a heavy combat sniper rifle. This thing would do a better job. Um, if we can scrap some of the stuff off of it than the thing that we've got on right now. I don't think any of this other stuff is going to be that way. That one's a pipe sniper rifle. That one's the automatic shotgun thing. Hot, hot. What? What? Outson Frederick, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We're just, uh... We're just playing a little fallout here with a lady that doesn't have any perks. And it's a bit painful, but it's also a good time. Let's see if I can switch this this stuff onto this one. Uh, so we get the bleed damage and the sniping, and then we'll be able to use it much more effectively. Um... Let's see, we don't need that. We should probably hold on to that stuff. This thing is fun. I like that it slows time for 15 seconds. There's gonna be a day where I'm like, dude, I'm so glad that we have that. And apparently we made all of our money back, so let's see. Let's do 269 caps worth of shit here. Nice one. 